Alright, hi guys. So this is my little slideshow of my DIY filter system. Uh, basically, if you guys need more detail of the drawing, the plan, and the material list, please uh, leave me a comment below with your email address and I will forward it to you. And uh, so this is my platform I built out of 2x4. And this is using the old desk top panel to make the floor there. And three barrel, 30 gallons barrel. And it's the drill and the hole saws for the uh, uni seal. So, uh, you see the happy face there, I made a little boo boo there. But this is the barrel drill down. So these are the vents pipe screen, two inch. I'm using these for my drain uh, strainer. So I'm using some hot glue to fill up some big gaps so to stop the media from falling through. And I attach to this two inch uh, elbow for the bottom drain. So here's the setup of my barrels after all the unit seals I installed. And this is my overflow pipe. I Cut them in three eight gaps alternately from one side to the other. So this is how all my barrels set up together. Let me overflow for well, seven and a half inches in length. That's my top overflow drain there. There's strain on top. So this is the cuttings for my cleaning manifold so these are half inch PVC and drilled with uh, 716 drill bit at uh, 3 8 spacing okay so this is all my setup right now uh, so everything inside the barrels are um, friction fit no solvent gluing on anything. So this is the adapter for my cleaning manifold. So all glued together and attached to the uh, half inch PVC there so I can attach my uh, sub vac pipe in there. So this is all my final setup. Need some more hoses for the UV light. And now I'm going to be running the uh, water pad. So when I'm just using the garden hose to do the pad because uh, it is still cold outside and the fish is still hibernating at the bottom. I don't want to disturb them yet, so I haven't dropped the uh, pump down to the pond yet, which I will do it later. We look at the right side. That's a one and a half inch hose there, pipe there. That'd be my uh, pump will be hooked up to. Pump the water into the system. And the left side here, I have the two inch pipe Going down to the pond, that'll be my uh, output, my outlet. That's the water we're coming out from the filter system and it charged back to the pond. So it's getting up the first barrel right now. So as you notice here, the fish is here. The vent screen I use to uh, put on the top here as an overflow. Then over here. Then barrel number three. And for the inlet, I'll just put the two in the elbow going sideways. 
and for the bottom drain again two inch two inch elbow with a screen at the bottom there just to stop the media from coming out so and then facing it downward just like that and here's my five inch uh, air stone okay it's filling up slowly as the water reaches up here will overflow down to this pipe go to number two then and when it fills up here then it goes overflow here it goes down to here on number three I have the inlet pointing sideways so it will make the water flow clockwise and it blowing sideways instead of blowing to the bottom oh right now you see the water overflow to this drain and down to barrel number two right there so the same idea it's pointing sideways so it doesn't flow directly to the bottom of the barrel where maybe accumulated dirt and sediment at the bottom of the We could just to get this one filled up. Water's filling up to barrel number two to the top drain. I didn't see the water flowing to barrel number three through this pipe. That's number three. I'm just going to up a little bit. Okay. Water leaking out on the first barrel. Oh, this uni seal works perfectly. Love it. Make it so easy. Number one barrel is good, no leaking. It's quite good. Barrel number three, the water is good. You need seal holes up pretty good. No leaking. Okay, I'm gonna shut out the water now. I don't want too much water going down to the pond. Go outside, show you. So I got this one running along there. So I want it to be more in the middle of the pond, not where my schema entry is. So, going down there, just let that bounce. Well, I haven't got the uh, King Free flexible hose to hook up my UV yet. So as right now, I turn up all the valves just to keep the water from going out or back down to the pond. I do have a check valve on the outside there by the you see uh, by the frog there with the rock with the stainless steel clamps those are my clamps for the check valves okay now as the water shut off it drain on the way down to the bottom this one's still going okay, it's done Our next test, I'm going to turn on this 
Airstorm for my moving bed. My air pump. So, for my airstorm right there, this will be used for my moving bed. Just like that, hopefully, will be good enough, strong enough to keep the media moving in this barrel and this is the uh, 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 4 watt 6.8 liter per minute air pump well I try the 2 watt one like Mr. Wrighty from UK Manson but it didn't really work well on my 5 inch stone so I got this bigger one 4 watt 6.8 liter per minute so hopefully this will do the job I don't see a lot of bubbles coming up but hopefully we'll keep the media circulating not crazily in this barrel alright that's for that uh, moving bed air circulation next I'm gonna be testing these two barrels for the cleaning manifold as I have a shop back right here so I'm gonna block it in and try block it in. okay now I'm gonna change this to the blower side that's for vacuum For the blower. All right. Now I'm gonna hook it up here. So I use one at a time. So I turn up this side. Barrel number one is up right now. Let's do one first and two. Okay, this barrel number one. Let's start with arrow number one. With Arrow number two valves shut off. Okay. it for now next step I'm gonna hook up my UV lights and my pump then I will add some uh, media bio media is in here so this barrel I'm gonna put K1 this one will be K2 and this one will be K1 so I'll see you next time